And now, on another beautiful day in Los Angeles, I'm about to take you through Abbott Kinney. First a person, now a place. And according to GQ, the coolest block in America. Kinney was a really impressive guy. In the late 1800s, he moved to Santa Monica and bought a one and a half mile stretch of land along the ocean, which he later turned the lower half into Venice of America, now known as Venice, California. In 1920, he died, and most of what he built, the Venice Pier and the amusement park along the canals, was laid to rest in the next 25 years. For many people, the most interesting area of Venice are these canals, which were fashioned after the world-famous canals in Venice, Italy. Since it was first constructed in 1905, this area almost saw its demise several different times, mainly due to health issues and lack of water circulation. In the 1980s, this street was actually called West Washington Boulevard, and there were community groups and property owners that had the idea to convert rundown beach cottages and empty industrial buildings into shops and bars and restaurants. They decided to rename it Abbott Kinney Boulevard in dedication of the city's founder. Here it is, Venice Skate Park. This may now be the most recognizable destination in Venice Beach. It's really put itself in competition with the basketball courts and Muscle Beach in terms of popularity and always having an audience. And I made it inside for the final preparations of the newest store on Abbott Kinney. Originals opened its first store in 2001 in Berlin and since then a few more in other culturally important cities around the world. The Originals concept incorporates the heritage of the brand and celebrates creators from the past, present, and will continue to do so in the future. Very similar to this street and what they've done in the last few decades, establishing a texture and identity that offers something for everyone. Adidas opening its doors here is really the ultimate compliment to Abbott Kinney and what they have created as an environment in this little chunk of the world.